For thousands of years, the waters off the eastern shore of Virginia have offered up the finest seafood in the world. And for well over a century, the Ballard family has harvested these waters for its shellfish, producing extraordinary clams and oysters for the nation and the world. I'm a fifth generation shellfish farmer. My family's been in the shellfish industry since 1895. We started in the wild oyster business, unloading wild oysters caught on the seaside of Virginia and in the town of Willis Wharf. As most people know, in the early part of the century, in the 1950s and 60s, the wild oyster population began to die out in the Chesapeake Bay. In 1983, my grandfather closed the doors on his wild oyster business and started what today is known as Cherrystone Aqua Farms, which was a pioneer in farm raising clams and later turned into farm raising oysters. It was pretty incredible what my granddad did at the age of 66 when most people are trading in everything to go play golf. He traded in everything and started a brand new business that was largely academic and unproven at that point. They struggled for six years to produce their first crop of clams and over the next several decades, Cherry Stone turned into the largest producer of farm-raised clams in the country. And so I've watched this company grow from its inception. Um, first year I was here, we had zero clams to sell. Today, Cherry Stone Aqua Farms is the leading national producer of aquacultured clams and oysters. And because they're grown in the same waters as their wild counterparts, they have the same great flavor all without depleting the natural shellfish population, while also improving the environment. I think farm-raised shellfish are, are one of the most unique food stories out there. Uh, it, it's a put-and-take fishery, so it's fully sustainable. We're not depleting the natural resources. And furthermore, our products are not only environmentally benign, but they're environmentally beneficial. They're filtering excess nutrients and really one of the only methods of addressing non-point source pollution in the Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> Our customers love this story, and it's no fish story. It also didn't happen by randomly casting about. Uh, one of the most unique things about Cherry Stone Aqua Farms is how vertically integrated we are. We control the clam or oyster all the way from when it's born right up until the retail supermarket or the restaurant, and that's that's very unique. Most companies are either buying the product, buying the seed, doing the grow out and hiring it to someone else to sell for them. We control the entire process and that's, that's something that should give consumers a lot of comfort because we have the most invested in the process and we have the most interest in making sure that it works. Being truly vertically integrated gives us the most control over the product. So if we don't like the way uh, clam or oyster is growing, we're able to change that on every level of its life cycle, whether it be from the spawning and breeding to the nursery grounds or how long they're grown out for, where they're grown out for. We have complete control over the process. The shellfish that winds up on your table gets its start right here in the hatchery. This is where we spawn our clams and oysters. After the honeymoon is over, the resulting offspring are fed a natural diet of algae until they're large enough to survive outside. So for our algae cultivation, we use the pristine seawater from the lower eastern shore. We triple filter the water and then we pasteurize it to kill as much bacteria as possible prior to adding it to our cultures. So once the water goes in, the algae loves it, they multiply, they make these nice dark cultures, and then we feed this superfood that we create to all the little oysters in the hatchery. It, in this mad scientist way, we can create basically the best cheeseburger and french fries that the oysters will ever get. These are 300 million of my favorite babies. <laughs> my name is Carrie Rapine and I love growing clams. The team of people that we have here are people that have a, a great attention to detail and care a great deal about the work that they do and the product that they produce and the, the science of it we really love. Clams here in the hatchery are going to be fed a much higher density food than what they would get in the wild. If there's anything better than loving care, it's loving care with backup. Cherry Stone Aqua Farms has redundant hatcheries 
one in Cheriton on the Bayside, and one in Willis Wharf on the Seaside. This ensures a steady supply of healthy seed. After several weeks in the hatchery, these babies are ready to spread their wings. They're moved outside to upwelling stations where they're fed the same diet as their born in the wild counterparts, nourishing algae from the surrounding natural waters. Behind me is the upweller system, which is the last stage of the hatchery where the clams are approximately three to four months old. They're now living in natural seawater from the eastern shore of Virginia. Just like plants, once they get a little larger, they'll be transplanted. The seed clams will move directly to the wild into seed beds. We put a net on them to protect them from the predators, crabs, bullfish, stingrays, birds. The seed clams grow here because of the flow, the tide rushing in and out. I mean, it's just, it's an awesome bottom here. There's 600,000 in, in each bed. There's approximately, uh, probably 100 million out here in this whole grind. After the seed is harvested, it's sorted, sized, and transplanted to one of the company's over 20 grow-out locations. So we have 25 different harvest locations that range anywhere from an area in Chincoteague Island near the Maryland-Virginia line, wrap around the seaside of the eastern shore to uh, all the, about 10 miles north into the Chesapeake Bay. Cherry Stone's diverse growing locations ensures protection against environmental changes, such as weather, that could impact availability. So ST is a wildlife refuge that spans 30-something miles up and down the east coast. And we grow a lot of our product on the back of that refuge, you know, free of pollutants and no housing. And so sometimes I'm out working the clams and the wild ponies off of ST come, you know, within 30, 40 yards of us, kind of staring at us like, what are you doing out here? <laughs> yeah, each growing location will have a slightly different profile, clams and oysters are filter feeders, so they take on the flavor of the waters that they're grown in. So as we move a mile away, and even sometimes within a couple hundred feet, you can notice a slight taste variance in a clam and oyster. They not only vary in taste with the, the growing grounds, but each day they can vary in taste in the same growing location, depending on the water inputs and whether it's rained lately, whether there's a strong wind, and just what the clams and oysters are filtering that day. You know, really clean water, good salinity. The shell stock really likes this area. It's right at the mouth of the bay where the bay and the ocean meets. So we have a really good flushing area, really neat. I think we have some of the cleanest waters in the eastern United States or in, in the country. While Cherry Stone's grow out locations are the best in the country, they don't do all the work. While growing to market size, clams and oysters require a lot of care and maintenance. The oysters take a lot, a lot of care. Uh, we get our oysters sometime in the middle of May at quarter inch to a five sixteenths. Uh, our oysters are handled pretty intensely, I would say twice a week. Uh, and it really is a labor of love. Well, our, our timeline is if we go into a quarter inch mesh bag, they're handled twice a week for three weeks and then they're, they come out of that bag and then they advance to a larger mesh bag. And that same process continues up until the point where we are in our, our one inch cages, uh, which is a final grow out cage. Giving mother nature an extra hand helps. The tumbling of our oysters gives them their unique round shape. It also gives them the nice deep cup for the most meat and most juice. It's got a nice teardrop shape, has a nice little cup to it. Very versatile, whatever your taste buds like, it, uh, it'll work for you. This is a, a nice misty point. Anybody that gets that on a half shell is gonna be satisfied. The amount of attention you have to put into your, your oysters, it's much like being a parent. Uh, the love and compassion and caring that you show for your children, I show for my children, I have to show to these oysters as well to give the best product that I can give. Well, we're I actually harvesting 12 months out of the year and that's uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves on. Uh, we've literally broke ice before to get out here for four hours just to get here for a two hour harvest just to make sure that our customers don't go without the product that they need. 
All shellfish harvested at Cherry Stone Aqua Farms spend up to 48 hours in our state-of-the-art wet storage facility. This gives our customers a 100% grit-free product with a shelf life superior to any in the industry. We take it to the next step for our customers to ensure the, the longest shelf life possible and the cleanest, freshest, grit-free product available. None of this, this process is required by the federal government or any state agency. This is just something that we do for, for a benefit to our customers. One of the great things about our wet storage system is that none of our shellfish lose their profile, their flavor profile, due to the fact that the water we're using comes straight from the harvest locations itself. At Cherry Stone Aqua Farms, leading technologies live side by side with age old traditions. Our shucked product, for example, is all done by hand. And in many cases, the same skilled hands for decades. I have shuckers that have been working for me for 35, 36 years. They're like me, they're getting old. They're professionals. Sounds unreal, but they come in 3.30, 4 o'clock every morning. A good shucker can shuck that make bushel. Whether freshly shucked or leaving our wet storage, all product is inspected, packed, and shipped from our state-of-the-art packing facility. My primary job is to be an advocate for the customer. The benefits that we, that we offer a customer, obviously, is that we've been at this a long time. We started in 1990s. We have a pretty good history. We've gone through all the cycles in terms of good years, bad years, what can happen, what cannot happen. We do offer a customer, obviously, year-round availability, stable pricing, uh, a high quality product, and we do stand behind it. We truly do custom farming, so we recognize that not one size fits all and that everybody is looking for something different. And we try and work with our customers and with the end users to get them the exact experience they're looking for. So we're constantly trying to raise the bar in terms of what can we do differently or better that would help our end user customer? Is there, is there a particular problem? Is there a particular uh, grade that they're looking for that they can't get? Is there a particular package size that no one else does? We're more apt to go, well, let's try it. Let's go to see if we can do that. We do offer a complete support package for our products. All of our products are free of antibiotics, steroids, and feed additives and are raised in waters monitored by the State Health Department. Our shellfish are grown in such pristine waters. My job is to make sure that they maintain that freshness from the time they're harvested to the time they're on the plate of the customer. We as an industry, not, not just Cherry Stone Aqua Farms, but we as an industry have an incredibly accurate traceability system. Every one of our bags or boxes of shellfish that come out of our plant has this shellfish tag that we are required to put on. We go a little bit farther in terms of making sure that you know, we have various, it will be various information on here, harvest location, harvest date. Any one of our customers can call us at any time with this information and we can tell exactly where this product came from. The most important thing to produce in the perfect oyster is having the people that are passionate about it. And where we go to, to work on the water, the water is my life. Whether it's tumbling that batch twice when they'd only thought they were going to do it once, whether it's recognizing that they're not getting the growth they were looking for in a certain location, so they literally pick up their year's worth of labor and move it to another location. Perfect little oyster to do a, you know, a half shell or a Rockefeller or whatever your taste buds like. I really feel like we're a team, we're aggressive, we want to be the best and we're gonna to strive to be the best. Being on my team is not for the faint at heart. We, uh, we have a lot of passion for what we do. Everybody comes in on time and gives 100% of everything they have every day because they want to see that beautiful oyster at the end. Rain, sleet, snow, ice, it doesn't matter. We, we harvest uh, year round. We're producing a healthy protein that's helping the environment and not depleting the wild fisheries. So I, I challenge anyone to come up with a better story than that. Today, Cherry Stone Aqua Farms is one of the largest employers in Northampton County, Virginia, employing over 200 people. I wish my grandfather and father could see where we've come today 
I'm sure when my grandfather started the business and then my father joined uh, in the early days as they struggled that they, they had no concept of what this company would become. And while they saw it to success, they haven't seen it to where we've taken it in the last couple years uh, and just the great tasting shellfish that we're producing and the people we have producing them and the benefit we are to the community and uh, to our customers. The integrity that the Ballards have is just incredible. And it does transcend down into what we put in the boxes. Wow, that's explosive with salt. I mean, that's good stuff right there. For more information, visit us online at clamandoyster.com.